Welcome back to uh, what will be eventually a new chapter. I am still in process of building that 372 and there happened to be a post on Arbor's site about well I've got these projects and what do I do? Like how do we modify them? How do we get a little bit more out of the saw? And do you do a standard port and polish? What do you actually do? And I think before we look at that, we have to look at tooling. And one of the problems with tooling for this whole porting of chainsaws is that some of it's very expensive. Um, if you take a standard Dremel tool, and this is not exactly standard, but if you take a standard Dremel tool with a, maybe a pan attachment, it's probably not that much money. Get some, some Chinese carbide bits and you're away and going, but there's a limitation. And let's go over that now. So this is just, these are just a couple of cheap cylinder heads. <clears throat> what for fiddling. So Walter over to Fleet Command turned me on to this idea. And the idea is can we do tooling for porting and polishing that is relatively inexpensive? Um, my dental hand pieces in the office are like $1,200 a piece. I know that you can get them a little less expensive, but um, we have a lot of them. And so for me, going in the office and doing this, not so much of a problem, but not the ideal place to be doing porting and polishing, number one. And number two, the the, dan the dental hand pieces that I have are actually a little bit on the small side. I mean, I don't have any burrs that are that size. You know, there's just nothing that's that big. I don't need burrs that big. <clears throat> so, uh, with the exception of in the lab, if I'm doing lab work. So it's like, hmm, okay. Where do we go? Where do we take that idea? Is there something kind of in the dental realm that might help us? Yeah, so the ports in here are just plain old rough. Uh, they're rough. When you when you look inside the cylinder head, and you can't see that in the air here, but um, the ports are rough. And then if you're trying to get at these here, it's no problem. But you cannot use this for the, the transfers. You need a right angle handpiece. Now you can get at the, the exhaust this way, okay? And you can get the intake this way. I go from there and do something like this. But in general, the, the, the one area where most average Joes can't get at is the transfers. And you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with um, if you use a disc or something, you can go down there and try to get it, but it's really not the right way to do it. And I can get it with my dental hand pieces, but the burrs that we have, um, the tool bits, burrs, whatever you want to call them, they're just too small. They're really too small. So I need something that's bigger. So what do we do? So this is a rusty and crusty old latch right angle well I guess you'd call this a mandrel but the point is that this is latch attachment slow speed right angle there's a flat here and there's a recess all the way around and I'm looking at that and going well I could use that again there's no this is a lab mandrel, but there's no dental stuff specifically that has a carbide burr that's big enough to be useful there. They're all really too small. And to use a high-speed handpiece for this, which I've done, but it's kind of silly. So, what if we can take lab burrs which is a straight shank, no latch capacity. What if I can turn it 
into something with latch capacity. What if I could do that? Think we can do that? Too long, obviously. So I need to shorten it up a bit. Even if I can do that, the hand pieces that I have are really expensive. So how does it fit with your average Joe? With the average guy in the garage that wants to do this, how does it fit? And I haven't, I mean, I'm, I'm just getting into this, so I don't even know if this is going to work, but I have a potential solution. And as, as AVE would say, this is Chineseium. So I got this off eBay from somebody in China. Well, from somebody in South Carolina, but it's there. Made in China. <clears throat> this is a Marathon 3 handpiece driver. Handpiece motor. Well, the motor is actually here, but. I love it. What do you think that says? I think it's straight. What do you think that says? Bending. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly the right terminology, but whatever. You know, okay, fine. So I guess we have a foot pedal. The one I'm interested in right now is the, the bending. <laughs> bending. They give me straight. Please tell me they didn't give me two straights. Please tell me they didn't give me two straights. That one's bending. They mislabeled it. Great. So if you buy the good ones of these hand pieces, you're probably talking, I don't know, four or five hundred bucks. But for only a couple of bucks, the whole thing was 90 bucks shipped. So for a couple of bucks here, can we get this? into that and get it to spin. Maybe. Maybe. So I'm going to have to do some Dremel work to figure out where I want it. Cut a little bit off. Create a, create a flat and a recess all the way around. And ideally that would be done with a uh, on a lathe, but I don't have a lathe, at least not here. So let's see if we can do it on the cheap, simple stuff. On the cheap, cheap, simple, cheap, simple. Yeah, let's see. So I've got the back end of this as my guide for shape. The flat does not extend all the way halfway through the shank. By the way, these are 2.35 millimeter shanks. So I think I want it a little bit longer than that, than that, but I don't want it too short. Okay. I've got a standard cutoff wheel here. Um, nothing fancy. <laughs> Looks like it might work. A freehand latch? Who knows? Oh, I have to extend the flat down a little further.
there's definitely some torque there. So let's see if she drives. So this just plugs in here. Turn this on. Ah, okay, if I turn it on and leave it on, it's just on. A little bit of lube never hurt these hand pieces. So let's see if she drives. And let's see if I can get a better angle. Aha. One of the things with this hand piece is that they do come apart. So you got to tighten them. Oh yes. She most definitely do cut. Absolutely does cut. So, I don't know how smooth this is going to be, but for those guys wanting to do this at home, that looks like a pretty straightforward solution. Let's have a, let's play here. Let's slow this way down. No torque at low speed, okay. Well, I'll tell you, that does actually clean this up. So it's a lot cleaner looking than when we started. There's no question about that. The chattering's kind of annoying. Let's see how we can get this to look. Again, I didn't I didn't time this, no numbers, no nothing. I have no particular um, marks on here of where I want to go. And so this is just more of a test of the grinding capacity of something like this rather than specifically how to do the numbers and everything, but so far this is alright. It's not amazing. I'd say if you're a professional porter, no way. Too kind of wonky but if you're a hobbyist you want to go in there and just do a little something on a couple of cylinder heads these are the let's see I forget what was this 20 bucks for the whole set probably 20 bucks for the whole set got a grind on them so what 90 bucks for the motor all right let's see if the straight hand piece works Interesting. The handpiece is designed only for dental use. So, just so you know. Let's say you wanted to do... Clean up the intake a little bit. Let's clean up the intake a little bit. Clean that up. Crank up the RPM, see how, let's see what she can do. You want to square off the intake a little bit, just like that.
Well, I'll tell you, if you're in a hurry, this is not the set. But if you want to do a little bit here or there and kind of make this a whole lot nicer from the get-go, that works. Check that out. You see in there? So I'm definitely cleaning it up. Definitely getting cleaned up. You know, in a matter of minutes here of setup, this has gone from a rough looking cylinder to uh, what's gonna probably be a fine runner. So you can see there's there's the cleaned up ports. And again, I, I'm, I'm not even really trying here. This is just a little bit of cleanup that I've done. This is not me really attempting to do this. And there's there's the, the kind of rough junk ports to start. They're rough. So I'd say for sure that makes a home solution. So if you're going to do this on a professional level, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is not the ticket. 90 bucks and 20 bucks. But... If you're just doing a few cylinder heads, you want to get a little extra out of it, you want to play with it, you want to fiddle, tinker, um, right out of the box with really minimal grinding, that's great. So what I can do uh, as we go through the, the 372 build video, at least the, the one from uh, Hudsel, we'll go through that and I'll fiddle with this and tinker with it and give you an idea of where you want to be. Um, or where you might want to be. I, I'm not an expert porter. I'm not a professional porter. I'm a dentist. And so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a little extra pop. That's what I'm looking for. I don't need to have to squeak out that extra few percentage points that some of the professional guys squeak out. I want a little bit extra out of my saws. And uh, with, with this type of thing, I think we can get it. I mean, you can pick this up, set up on eBay for pretty inexpensive, uh, Marathon 3. Um, I avoided buying this directly from China. I wanted it, you know, from a, a U.S. seller. So it only took a couple days to show up. I bought it from somebody in South Carolina. These, these carbide burrs that you're going to need uh, are not the usual ones. Dremel typically uses, I think, a 3 millimeter shank, and these are actually 2.35 millimeter. So if you measure this this right angle little mandrel that I have here that I use in the dental office, all right, this hasn't been used in probably 40 years, but um, if, if, you, if you measure this, the right angle, uh, the standard right angle is 2.35 millimeter shank. So that's what you got to look for is actually 2.35 millimeter shank carbides. They go in the, the latch and in the straight nose cone for the Marathon 3 that's what you want and you can fiddle with it infinitum there. I'll close the video simply say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned we have more coming.